afternoon, everyone. Right on time, as usual, right? How's everybody doing today? It's gorgeous out, right? It's been hot, but today it's not bad at all. I hope everybody's enjoying it. I'm going to wait just a moment before we get started. It is Tuesdays at 2-ish. I'm Joshua, in case this is your first time watching or if you're going to join. I'm here at the Westport Road location of the Sewing and Vacuum Authority. That's 10494 Westport Road. I hope you guys can see the store. We've been rocking and rolling, so um, it looks like we had a little lull in business, so we're going to try to take advantage and uh, do some sewing and give you guys some information. So, um, let's see here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, giving you guys some of the specials we got going on because right now, if you're not familiar with the Brother 10 Needle, or the Brother 6 needle, which unfortunately I don't have set up here. Um, we have a handful of these in stock, and these have been hard to get a hold of. And so ours finally just came in, and we are, hey Peggy, we are putting together some insane bundles. Um, let me flip the camera around just so you can see it. If you're not familiar with the 1055X, the PR1055X, this machine is incredible. It's the most technologically advanced uh, machine on the planet because it comes with the, well, the scanning capabilities. It's got a camera that's built into it. It, it is phenomenal. Uh, and, and if you're into embroidery and you're looking for a multi-needle, right now is the time to uh, really get a, get a hold of this because we've got a handful of options. Not only do we have the Brother 10 needle uh, there, um, we also have the 6 needle, uh, which is the smaller version. That's the PR670E. Um, both of those machines come with a massive bundle. Now, I can't give you the prices on here because it's literally too low and I don't want to get in trouble, but uh, it comes with the stand, it comes with a hat hoop, it comes with, um, let me see, software, it comes with an awesome uh, bundle filled with stabilizers and threads and all sorts of stuff. It comes with a three-year uh, maintenance protection plan, which is very important. Uh, and of course it comes with a mastery class, which everybody wants and needs and should get. Uh, we also, and that's for uh, both of the brothers, uh, the 10 needle and the 6 needle have that insane bundle. Uh, and it, it is really at an awesome price. So we, we don't have a ton of those machines, but we do have a few. So get a hold of me uh, if you have any questions or if you want a, a private demo or if you just want some information on the pricing. Uh, we also have the Janome 7 needle and an Elna 4 needle. Um, again, we're going to throw an awesome bundle with those, and, and again, for the pricing, you'll have to get a hold of us. But So we've got four different multi-needle machines in stock right now, and we're trying to get rid of them, and we've got a lot of calls, so if you're interested, now's the time to get a hold of us. We absolutely have 0% financing on all of the uh, previously mentioned machines. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure you guys know, because we've been getting a lot of calls about multi-needles, and they are in, and we are excited about it. So also... Upcoming classes, here you guys go. This Saturday. Actually, shoot, Linda, your class is this Friday. It is. Okay, so the heirloom block of the month with Linda Carswell, uh, right here, June 18th, is this Friday, and there's still uh, there are still spots left. So if you were interested in, and you should be interested in, uh, taking that class with Linda, uh, there is spots left. So get a hold of us, give us a call, and we can get you registered and signed up for that. Um, also, June 19th, Saturday is going to be a big day. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. But at, uh, let's see, what is it, 10 o'clock in the morning, we have the Embroidery Club with Barbara Gordon, which you guys all know. Uh, and that's a ton of fun, and there are spots left for sure. And then in the afternoon, let me make sure I get my time right, at 3 o'clock in the afternoon is the free, you have to let us know that you're coming, so you still got to register, but it's a free lecture slash uh, mini trunk show, uh, trunk show demo, whatever you want to call it, with Mary Bauer. And if you're not familiar with Mary Bauer, let me flip the camera around. This is what Mary Bauer does. Well, it's one of the things that Mary Bauer does. She is phenomenal. And I have just recently um, been able to, uh, you know, meet and, and really talk with Mary. And she's not only a wealth of knowledge, she's just 
a ton of fun to be around. You can tell that's going to be a really fun time. Uh, and she's got some classes coming up, so we'll give you more information on that. But this Saturday at 3 o'clock is her, uh, is her um, the lecture. It's free, too. So, hey, key word, right? Hey, Harriet. Mary had also whipped out this fun little cicada quilt as a momentum for the fun that we've been having the past couple of weeks. <laughs> Mary Bauer did that one there. Barbara Gordon, of course, our collage quilts over here. So we got a lot of stuff going on and there's more classes coming, but I really want to get over here and do some sewing with Linda. Uh, and Barbara, you can say hi real quick. Well, hello everybody. So glad you're here with us today. There it is. There's a barber quilt in the back, so we got barber quilts everywhere. And what yes. what what is going on over here? Well, I, you know, it is summer, and I'm ready to go to the beach. Actually, <laughs> I am in a few weeks, but so I thought I would be ready. I found this adorable beach caftan on you know you all know <laughs> my favorite website. We also from Bernina. That's right. So if you just go to their, the search bar and put in beach caftan, there you go. There it is. And it's really simple and fun to make. So I just thought I'd kind of It's so beat you festive. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, Harriet, that is a beautiful quilt. And, and that was Mary Bower's um, most recent addition to the store yeah. here. And we're going to get to learn a lot more about her process uh, this Saturday. So yeah, please join us Saturday. It's going to be a really great opportunity. Yeah, first half of the day is embroidery with Barbara, second yes. half of the day is quilting with Mary. Wow, and what a combination. Else. So it's going to be a fun day. It so. will be. All right, so it, now are you, is it a caftan? A caftan, yeah. I didn't know the official name yep. for it. It's so. like a poncho, but you do stitch it down so it has a little bit of fit like to it. Like a festive but. poncho. Yeah, I probably would make the neck a little bit bigger next time. But it, it's really simple, two yards of fabric, whatever trim you want. I'm going to show you an alternate. I just bought, you know, that fringe pom-pom trim from yeah. probably Amazon, but... Um, you could probably buy better quality, but it called for single fold bias tape and you know single fold bias tape always has it's mm. weird colors, the fabric's really not that great. So I just used a scrap of a really nice turquoise colored pique and made my own bias tape. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. Awesome. Um, so I'm, I just found a little scrap. Pam's going to be so jealous because she's our flamingo <laughs> girl, but yeah, this is, is a little tiny version of, of my caftan. <laughs> a mini caftan. So, <laughs> first of all, I'm going to show you how to make your bias tape to go around the neck. To Can we come the over neck. there? Yep. All right. Well, we've got an obstacle course again. Okay, so this little gadget, which is the Clover Bias Tape Maker, is so helpful when you're doing this. You want your iron pretty hot so it'll cause it to go. And it just folds it over. I don't, you can probably see better in there how that works. On this side? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Excuse the cameraman yeah, here. Don't, don't trip. <laughs> okay, see how that works? Oh, it just it, it folds the fabric. It goes in as a flat layer, and when it comes out, it folds it in from each side. And you have single fold bias tape. Look at that fancy, fancy yeah. little thing. Cool. Yeah. And then, if you want to make double fold bias tape, you just fold it in half and press it again. That's all you would need to do. Right. But I just need single fold, so I'm not going to do that right now. All right. So, I'll show you how you sew it on there. Of course, our Bernina gal is on the 790. The and we have some great promotions, like probably the best of the year on the Bernina 5, 7, and 8 series. Yeah, and that, that promotion goes through the 22nd? 22nd, so right? a week from today, yeah. Yeah, there's 0% financing, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, um, and it really is an insanely uh, good yeah. deal uh, on almost all of the Bernina machines. So if this is if you're thinking about it, this is the week to do it. Yeah, it really is. Now, the um, sixty months is over today. Oh, I today think. is so, the last day for sixty so months. So if that's of interest to you, go to your computer, go to the Bernina, to Bernina.com. It's on the top drop-down menus. There's one that says cards. I think it has the Bernina credit card, and you can apply for credit online. Yeah, it's really there you easy. Go. 
And we've got a few hours left in the day, so just because yep. it's over, we're still here. So get we that 60 months. Here. But if you can't make it today, or, uh, you know, we don't want to rush here or pressure you. There's still 48 months, I believe, uh, for a little bit longer. So just give us a call. We'll, we'll try to help you out. Okay. Samara, Samara, I hope I said your name right. Pam would love that flamingo. <laughs> I know, I know. I brought her some scraps. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So you just put that around the inside because of what for for comfort and sturdy. Yeah, well, just to finish the neck. All I did was cut a hole in the. I folded my fabric in half. I had two yards of fabric, folded it in half, and then cut a neck. And they said you probably want to cut the back a little higher than the front. And I just kept cutting a hole and putting it over my head. <laughs> See? And now now that I've finished it, um, I kind of wish I'd made it a little bit bigger, but it's okay. I guess it depends on the size of your head. Yeah, well, I have a large <laughs> head, so. It's because of all that brain. Uh, you, you bet, you bet. <laughs> okay, so. I was trying to get that to get it right. I did not start this out very well, but it would be easier to open the whole thing out, <laughs> oh, which is right. what I'm going to do. So, sorry. I'm starting over. Anybody Hi, ever Evelyn. do that but me? There we go. If you're just joining us, Linda is showing us just a quick, fun way to make a caftan. I just learned what that was called. <laughs> Don't laugh at me and there, Barbara. If you want to show them this beautiful new fabric that we just got in, it would make a perfect captain. Yeah, captain. So it's we, a very uh, beachy kind of gauzy. Let me open this up. We just got it. in the entire line. Um, this is the warp and weft. Uh, it is a woven cotton, uh, and the colors are phenomenal. Apparently, it would make an awesome caftan. I think it would. <laughs> uh, in yeah, fact, we, that we the. That the instructions that I used on We All Sew, she used double gauze, and this kind of is that same kind of feel to it. This would be nice and flowy, so. Yeah, but it, the colors are great. And they're beautiful. Yeah, warp and weft. We just got this entire line in over here, this, this collection. So what I'm doing is I'm sewing on the folded line that I made when I used my little bias tape maker and that gives me a seam guide so I don't have to worry oh, yeah, you know about being real precise. Hey Norma, welcome. Yeah, before I uh, before I close out the, the live, I'll go over there and show you guys the entire line. They really are pretty. Then I'm just uh, butting up my two ends of my bias uh, to each other and sewing over it. And then what I'll do is just turn that under where I have a folded edge already and fold it to the back. And then you just, you do that by hand. You need to clip your seam mm -hmm. so it'll, you want to give as much, um, fullness in the in, in there you know so it'll spread as much as possible so it'll go over the head but isn't that so much cuter than just using that plain old ugly stuff they have in the packages the three yard packages but you can you can coordinate with your fabric and these are literally scraps that I had in my sewing basket so anyway I know most of you have the, the same exact scrap basket at home <laughs> absolutely or now for um <laughs> Sewing up the edges, which is really fast. I want to show you the 10D foot. And this comes with a lot of the machines that have the built-in dual feed. You could use your 10, your 10C, or your 10D. But if you have the 10D and have the built-in dual feed, it's awfully nice. So I'm going to move my needle to the right three places. 
inches. Okay, and I've pressed under a fourth of an inch or thereabouts. And then what I'm gonna do is just lower my foot. And I'm gonna put the flange of the number 10 so foot, yeah, up against the fold that I've, that pressed edge that I just made. And so this makes it really, really fast and straight. I've caught something. I don't know what I did there. I don't think it's going to matter. Nope, something's caught. Something okay. got caught. Of course, but when you're so, on live. <laughs> well, right. But so what all you're doing is going to it's the edges, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to cut that off. And, but anyway, you're going to hem all the edges, which we're not going to worry about right this minute. And then what you're going to do after you've hemmed all your edges, yeah, is you're going to go down about, well, on mine, I went down 10 inches and in about an inch and a half. And then I went down to about four inches above, so I don't know if you can see that. So I've got a little bit of a kick pleat there, and I've got some extra room here. She suggested eight inches. My arms are a little bit chunkier than that. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, and then oh, just so you go. She made it fitting. You put sleeves. Yeah, so it gives it a little oh. bit of fit. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you just you know go to the beach, pull it off. When you finish at the beach, you put it back on, and you look. <laughs> fairly decent. I mean, I could wear this with my white pants somewhere. I think that's so the new kind uniform. Kind of a cute little top, yeah. <laughs> okay, so then you finish those edges. As I said, come in an inch and a half, and you go up four and a half inches, and then whatever amount you need to give yourself room so it's comfortable right. to put your arms through. This is going to be turned under. And then you can trim the edge however you like. You can get the pom-poms pom or poms. this was really clever. This is actually what she used in the article. Take a skein of floss, pull the ends off, and you cut it, cut it in half, I think. You have this, so you have just cut your whole skein in half, in, so it's open, and then cut it again, so you have two pieces, and then you take, I think it's four from each one of these groups. Okay, then you cut it. If I'm doing this right, cut it in half again. No, you fold it in half. Maybe I'm doing this good. right, but anyway, <laughs> that was a little small. I think maybe I didn't quite do it. We'll just use this one. <laughs> you fold it in half. You take one of your pieces of floss. You're supposed to be able to get four tassels from a skein of floss. Now that might not have been a full skein because I just grabbed it. So you, you tie it and then you put another piece through the top. Comments because I'm going, I don't know what you're making. I'm just waiting. <laughs> well, I'm going to show you I'm in on the edge just of my seat. a second. Okay, so I, there, there is a tassel. I don't think I did it exactly right, but you get the idea. Oop, not right. Oh, right. You're making a little tassel. I'm making a tassel, but anyway, the 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 example on the website was you made like 54 tassels and you can do different colors which would be really fun on this. Oh, right. And then you just 
sew it to your finished edge. So I'm going to, you know, I would oh, trim this like up. For, like frill or just, yeah, okay. It's just for embellishment. Embellishment. Totally right. for embellishment. I gotcha. Okay. But she tells you exactly how to do it. So, and then this one, you can actually cut, cut those tails to blend in. And then you just sew it to the edge of your caftan. Well, I, yeah, on this little I'll, little baby one, we wouldn't have to do quite so many. Right. But yeah, I didn't have. <laughs> I think I'm like going to sit there and make 54 tassels. I'm sorry. I thought you know pom pom <laughs> trim is fine. But I thought it was such a cute idea, and especially yeah. with something really colorful like this. It would be adorable. It would, yeah, yeah, it would be. And I'll go again. I'll show you the rest of the line. But, so oh, that's fun. So that's that's how you make a beach caftan. We also put in the search beach, beach caftan. caftan. There you go. Awesome. Easy. All right. Easy. It was fun. I enjoyed fun. doing it. I know. Yeah. Now you have to wear that for the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Linda. You uh, are and yeah, more so than welcome. I got that right. There are spots left for this Friday's yes. heirloom block yes, of yes, month. Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. And if someone hasn't, I think you mentioned this last time, uh, if someone hasn't been to the previous class. We can, they can jump in any time. In any time. Yeah. Okay. I just need to know they're coming so I can make you a kit. So. Yeah, yeah. you heard that. So just, yeah. thank you, Linda. As always, I appreciate it. My pleasure. So you heard that. You can just jump in at any time because I know somebody was asking, um, they were afraid that they were behind. Well, you're not. And Linda will get you caught up to speed with quickness. All right, let me show you that line real quick. That collection, excuse me. Again, this is the uh, the warp and weft. And hopefully, this is the woven cotton line collection. Uh, let's see if you guys can see all this. So that's a really fun collection that we just got in that apparently, as I'm just now finding out, would be awesome for making caftans. <laughs> uh, let's see, if you haven't been to the store, obviously we have a large selection of fabric that just keeps growing. There's our Kona selection. We've got an awesome wall of basics and blenders. Got some cave. We just got some new uh, Halloween in. We had to get some cute Halloween because apparently the stuff I ordered was a little dark for some of you. <laughs> but that's a really fun line. Of course, we've got a Ruby Star. We've got all sorts of stuff. If you haven't been to the store, please come in and see us. Because we're having a ton of fun. And just because somebody else asked, we still have curious and curiouser, curiouser and curiouser. I don't know which one it is. Curious and, anyway, it's the new Tulip Pink and we still have some of the line works left. Um, it's getting lower and the bolts are getting pretty thin, but there's still some left. So if you didn't get you any of the new Tula, you better hurry in because this is going quick. All right, I'll walk back over here. Um, so that was awesome. Thanks again, Linda. You guys, uh, we do this every Tuesday around two, hence the name two-ish. Um, again, this is the Westport Road location of the Sewing and Vacuum Authority. We do have a store in Clarksville. We have a store in Greenwood. And then of course, our sister store, Quilt Quarters, up in Carmel, Indianapolis. Um, if you saw something or if you heard us about a special that I mentioned earlier about those uh, multi-needles that are on sale with the big bundle and the 0% financing, we can get you that deal at any of the stores. So feel free to give us a call, come in and see us, uh, or you know, hit us up on the website, which is SovacAuthority.com or QuiltQuarters.com. All right, and one more time, this Saturday, come and hang out with us, come embroider with Barbara at 10, and then join us for the free lecture trunk show with Mary Bauer. And this is something that Mary just brought in, and it is awesome. And we're going to learn all about her process what she does when she starts a quilt and just goes through the entire uh, well process hey Benita alright well thank you guys for joining I hope you have an awesome day enjoy this weather and again give us a call 502-412-6040 uh, uh, we're here at the Westport store if you have any questions uh, send us an email or go to sovacauthority.com 
or just come in and see us because that's what we prefer. So you guys have an awesome day and we'll see you next time. Bye.